Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to my vlog. Today is a vlog slash we're going to do some card reading. So let's do that. All right. It's still pretty early on in my day. I've already done um, meditation and journaling before, even before I got out of bed. And now I'm kind of, do you guys ever, I'm kind of thinking, oh, maybe I didn't, maybe I shouldn't have walked down that pathway or opened up that doorway doing the meditation I did <laughs> because I did an abundance meditation. And it's brought up a whole bunch of stuff that then I've had to now journal about or look at or consider. And I don't really want to think about that stuff. Now, abundance in the form of what do you think of? Let's, let's use that as our topic here as we're connecting in our vlog today. Abundance, usually think about money, right? Let's be real. Let's be real. We think about money, mm -hmm. right? And usually when we think about money, we think about what we don't have or how much gap there is between our capacity where we're here right now and what could be for us as far as income, revenue, financial support, prosperity, etc. right? Let's just be real about that, right? But when we think about abundance or prosperity, lots of other words you can use, it also has to do with the hot commodity of time. And not just the energy of time where you're spending your time, but the energy of energy. So money and time and energy, instead of just two things, time or money, that's how we make decisions or choices, right? When you're from a consumer perspective, what's gonna give you the most benefit for your time, like if you're gonna take a class or if you're gonna work with a coach or um, go to a psychic and get a reading, etc. You're like, what's the best use of my time and money here, right? <clears throat> but there's a third factor, which is energy. And both time and, ener and money have energy. And really, maybe a better way to say that third factor would be vibration. Because there is a vibrational currency. You may have heard this before. I know that when I say these words, vibrational currency, I've heard them before too. I'm not sure where, but I've heard this concept before. Probably at a time when I wasn't ready to hear that. I was very focused or too into the physical human mind, tangible life focus of money, actual tangible money. And feeling this pinch press, pressure deficit when it comes to time. I always feel time like crunchy, you know, squishy, just not, not a free flowing kind of ambiguous thing. Well, that is up until recently. Now time feels a little more like it's just almost ambiguous, like you're kind of losing track of time, that kind of a thing here as I'm recording this in 2021. This is early 2021. So we're in February here now when I'm recording this, this video. So, and maybe, and my nose is super itchy. I think it's just because it's really dry. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, is somebody thinking of me? You know, your nose itches, somebody's thinking of you. <laughs> good, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. So when it comes to those two, those two big things, then there's this vibrational currency piece or this energy flow of, vi or energy flow, which is vibrational currency, right? The current, the flow. It's got me to thinking. It's really opened up some things for me. Now, some of the things connected to shadow, which is not so positive, polite, or pleasant, right? Not the great fun stuff to play with, but shadow, which is like the lack, the not enough, the not doing enough, not being enough, not skilled enough, not gifted enough, not not enough. And that those are the kind of the, the stops along my bus route when I, <laughs> when I go into that place, right? It's really a, like a lacking place and I think it's natural to feel like that because it's a just common theming in the human form and I think it's because of our collective minds and how we exchange in our relationships and, and how we uh, get our creature comforts so to speak and bring ourselves into this, this kind of um, view of manifesting, which is that we do it, I do it, my hard work, my hustle, it creates this. And if, 
if you're a person that just doesn't have that energy, that vibrational currency of hard work and hustle, well, then I guess you're just going to miss out. You're just going to have to settle. And like settling is like this worst case scenario, right? Well, maybe it's not. Maybe all that stuff that was wrapped in spiritual lingo about flow and energy and that kind of a thing is actually maybe not what I want, you know? It, maybe it's not what we want really collectively. You know, maybe it's not comfort that we really want, that we enjoy. Maybe it's this freedom of our flow, of what our interests are, what, what, what brings us joy, what we like. And that has to do with where we spend our time, where we focus our time, which is wrapped in energy, right? And the money piece of it, while it seems like we can make money and spend money, it seems like there's a balance in money itself, a give and a receive, right? Make money, spend money, receive it, and then give it, receive it, and then give it. And yet, when we're doing the bills, when I was just sitting down here a, 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 a bit of a time ago and looking at how much um, income I made in my business last month in January 2021 and how much I project for, for February 2021, I was quite quickly depleted and my energy level went like, oh, then I get into a state where my mind is saying, oh, well, you're not doing enough. You're not being enough. Here's an example of lack. Here's an example of you not focusing your time in the right ways, right ways that you can then be in the right place and the right moment in time to receive the money that is falling from the sky for you. And oh, by the way, you need to also then spend time in order to get the money. So you're spending your giving time to receive the money. And oh, by the way, those two things in each transaction you have or interaction you have aren't necessarily equal. And when they're not equal, you feel like you're giving more than you're receiving, right? That's when you feel a deficit. That's when the amplification of the debt of the lack of the I'm not enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not skilled enough, I'm not gifted enough because I'm not making enough money, income, receiving enough to, I don't want to say justify, that's not the right word, to even come close to the incredible volume of value that is being given. And when there's that much of a push-pull, one of my, um, my friends commented on Facebook today and she said, like give and receive, push, pull. I'm like, yes, exactly. When there's that kind of a struggle or conflict, then there's not really balance. So maybe what the desire is, is more of a peaceful flow, a freedom to flow, a freedom to focus, to be present, to be where the, we are, to be in a way, no matter what we're doing, no matter where we're at, to be in a way be in a way, be in a flow where we can perform those tax, ta, ta, ooh, that was a slip, tax, the tasks, <laughs> which might be a tax on your energy, depending upon how you're doing it. It's not the task itself or the environment itself that that is creating this deficit of energy. It's the way in which you are interconnected. You are transacting, you are interacting with that energy that is creating the problem. It's the bridge in between, not the end result, not the giver, not the receiver, not the pusher, not the puller. It's the in-between, the journey of, and the way in which we're, we're perceiving this relationship experience. So this is fascinating. So I'm sort of, if you can tell if you know me, you, if you've been around here on Fairy Grasshopper on my YouTube channel, or on my Bridget Inspired on Facebook, or at above life channel on youtube you know that i i bring in the energy of infused knowledge and the wisdom of my spirit guides and my higher self and the support team that that helps to guide me even when i'm not always listening and oftentimes i hear things for the first time when i'm connecting and talking with you it is like this collaborative channeling effort so that's what just happened there so i'm gonna have to listen back to that for myself i know it's deep you guys it's deep and you're probably thinking she said she's gonna do some cards so if she needs to do some cards, yes i'll do some cards i'll do some practical cards how about that practical cards as i am also trying to shift out of my funkiness now i kind of like i said i opened up 
that abundance meditation, I had to kind of identify a couple of areas that I was wanting to receive and, and I, one of them was money, you know, income, like no strings attached income, like, oh, it's not enough, I need more, oh, you're just not good enough, give me free stuff, because I, because that's all you're good for. It's like free stuff and freedom is not the same thing. It's like I have to re, um, re-engage, reconnect my relationship with the concept of free, the word free, because it feels like a wound right now. It feels painful. And that's not the best scenario, is it, right, for somebody who is in service and, and who wants to receive. If I think something's free, then I'm going to be... Miss, you know, I'm going to be distrusting it. I'm going to be thinking, okay, what? It's not really free. What do you want from me? Kind of a thing. Or, or I'm, I'm showing up, being authentic and giving, giving, giving. And what is coming back in return isn't, isn't, it's the push pull, not the balance in between. So I have to come to a place where. I can work with that energy and I can when I'm journaling. So I'm going to do that for myself personally. So, wow, that was like, a, did you see that? That was like a total trigger for me. Whoa, it came right out. I'm like, free, free. So I have this negative energy with free right now, which is tough when that's what we all really want, right? Like I said, free to freedom. Okay, so we're going to use the Sacred Traveler deck, our tried and true divine crown chakra connection with the energy of Denise Lynn, who I recommend. I will put in, I always recommend her decks and they'll be below in links so you can see them. There's four different ones that I, I think four or five that I have there, but this one is the Sacred Traveler deck. I love this one, it's very practical. Even, it doesn't matter how psychic or mystic or intuitive you are, this is a really good deck for just the get. Uh, get some info. Okay, so I would like to get some information about... Whoa! I didn't even ask the question yet. About abundance and this concept of abundance. Give us some insight into abundance. Okay, so we got two cards about abundance. Just This is general, all right? So take this information as a starting point for you and then go deeper and get your journal out and do what makes sense for you. Far away places, get ready for new horizons. This feels like a breakthrough is at hand. This feels like opportunity. I was literally just talking to my son about traveling. I'm like, we were talking about um, rich, like being rich. Oh, I wish I was rich. We were talking about, I said, well, what does rich mean to you? What does it mean? Like how much money is rich? Because that's what you think about, right? Monetary money financially. And we're talking about dollar amounts and things. And and I said to, to be able to travel, like I was watching some travel vlogs, Europe. Oh, I would love to go to Ireland and really want to go to England. Oh, so much in my lifetime here. In the next five years, that'd be awesome to do both those places. I would really like to see and be there and just touch the earth, you know, just touch the earth and feel it and walk the walks. I've walked many lifetimes before. I would like that in both those places. And so travel to me is like this abundance, this opening, this expansion. But when I read this and it says far away places, get ready for new horizons, it feels as though this is a great opportunity for to recognize new goals, like the goal setting kind of concept, new goals, new new reframing the way that we consider what abundance really is for us. I'm not talking just about like, hey, go get a gratitude journal and do your gratitude stuff and feel better. There's a lot to say about that vibrational currency and the way you're feeling, your moods and how you're interacting with your thoughts and processing your emotions within yourself. There's a lot to say about that, a lot to say, and you make a lot of room for yourself by working with vibrational currency and the frequency of of the way that the energy is flowing. But for me, this feels like the word free, like I said, how all of a sudden I'm like, wow, I didn't realize that this word free, with things being free, what does that mean? Like I right away associated with cost, like value, not just cost, like the pri- this is the price you pay to be in service. This is the price you pay for doing spiritual work. It should be free, that kind of a thing. And how much that really old timey value belief system, I must be connected to that grid somehow. 
because I get frustrated with that and I feel it and I'm feeling it now and I need to touch into that while it's showing up. So this word free, I need to work with that in regards to what does it mean? You know, freedom, independence, sovereignty, etc. For you, this could mean something different. Maybe you're missing traveling and you want to set some, make some trips, make some plans for later in the year, do something, have something to look forward to. Maybe you're going to make trips, a plan for 2022, etc. This helps to inspire you and encourage you, inspiring your spirit to have something to look forward to that's positive and adventurous. Maybe it is just an affirmation of the dreams you have of faraway places or things, dreams that you might have just in general, aside from the travel situation, in general, things that you maybe thought would be done sooner or like college or maybe you took a semester off, etc. Things are not going as you originally had planned, not as the mind would like them to be because we're in an unusual time. We're in a time of transformation. We are changing and we will be different and things will be different moving ahead. And so it seems like your dreams and desires might be farther away now than they have been before. And the truth is, energetically, everything's connected. Remember, time is layered, you know, like a sandwich. It's not linear as far as manifesting goes, as far as dreams go, as far as energy, frequency, energy, currency, layered, not linear, not linear, which means intention does a lot more than goal setting. Get ready for new horizons. It feels like a breakthrough is at hand. That's my piece. I can feel it energetically. Um, the water element is present, but the water element is showing up as green, which means abundance. The green energy is abundance. It's growth. It's prosperity. It's abundance. It's luck. It is the energy of the heart space. So perhaps abundance for you is a new relationship. Maybe you're reframing abundance as an opportunity, something good's coming along and it's in relationships. Maybe some cool new friends or some romantic interest or rekindling of old friendships or love, a new love, etc., etc. All right. I also am going to say that there's a little bird here in a cage. Do you see that? little bird in a cage right there and the fact that the bird is blue reminds me of Archangel Michael so I feel like you are protected during this time when you might feel the caged in kind of energy like I'm stuck of being at home I'm stuck of the cabin fever I'm stuck of the limitations the cage representing limited externally limited experiences that you can have or different ways that you have to experience things you used to experience and how really sad that is. That's a, there's like a grieving part of it that's showing up as anger, FYI. There's a grief that's showing up as anger about that, by the way. And it's not just about change, it's about this real sadness about not being able to engage and interact and not be connected. And so there's this cage that's like keeping you from. And really Archangel Michael's energy with that blue bird energy is that you're protected. Like, even if you feel like there's these bards, there's a door on the cage, you can go out. It's perception. You can go out. You can still have interactions and deep personal connections and relationships. They're just going to be different, but they are going to be valuable and important. And so will continue to be. So you might also, if you're um, a shaman type, if you like the animals or the spirit guides of the animals, and you like animal totems, take a look at blue bird and see what blue bird means in regards to this topic of abundance. Now, our second card is, ooh, hoo -hoo, this is perfect. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. This feels like working through the shadows that we have in regards to the debt of what we perceive as abundance, whether it be financial abundance, whether it be in relationships, whether it be in a work setting or situation, whether it be within yourself, I'm just not smart enough, so I can't go to college, therefore I can't have a better career, or I, have, I don't have a lot of self-confidence, even though I have a lot of gifts, there's this kind of uncovering treasure, perhaps could be because it's so, so gold and yellow, could be this renewing this belief and this commitment to yourself, really believing in yourself again, not based on external factors or, or what you've been pigeonholed into maybe in your life as a career, um, where you live, the color of your, your skin, the, the way that you are um, categorized by the world. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to go deep into your soul 
and to tap into that root of your spirit and to use that spirit energy to just really inspire you to recognize all your unique gills, gifts, skills, and assets, and then, then use those things to motivate you and inspire you. This is what uncovering your treasure is about. You will discover other skills that you have. The things that you're hardest on yourself for, the things that you admire most in others, are really, on the flip side, parts of your gifts that you refuse to see. You refuse to see. So it's time to start seeing that. Go into that belly area. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Bounty, another term for abundance, prosperity, luck, right? Fortune, good fortune, good luck. And this dragon energy is a major protector. The energy of fire, which is fire in the belly, which is inspiration, motivation, passion, drive. There's a couple of different colors in the gems here in the treasure box here. There's purple crown chakra, there's red root chakra. So from the crown all the way down, you're supported in alignment. And there's green, that green energy there. That green energy is the heart chakra once again. The abundance, the opportunity, the prosperity energy. Mm -hmm. This is good. And for some of you, this might actually give you a little bit of Egyptian vibes because of the serpent energy connected in or the cobra energy connected in. You might also get some mythical, mystical vibes, some Celtic stuff. You might get some energy of like Merlin or alchemical energy, which encourages you to use that fire element to transform a situation, transform your anger into purpose. And that's what like, that's what creates nonprofits. That's what creates movements. That's what collectively inspires and changes things. And that's what we're seeing right now in our world. There is a change afoot and it's not comfortable. But your goal here now, right now, this is a great opportune time to learn more about yourself, to get in, get on your own side. Before you pick other sides externally, be on your own side first, okay? Really, really know yourself. Be open to the new things, right? Because below the surface relies, lies great bounty for us all. All right. Hey, thanks so much for listening to my conversation today here on Fairy Grasshopper Channel about abundance. I hope you've enjoyed this circular spiral conversation and connection time. And in addition, enjoy the card reading today. Make sure you take it to a new level for yourself. Do some journaling about some of the keywords or topics or things that maybe triggered you when I started bringing up the topic of money, financial, related to abundance, time, focus related to abundance, where you're spending your time, where you're giving your time, that push-pull energy between the give and the receive related to both of these areas, in addition to this concept of vibrational frequency as vibrational currency. So energy as vibrational currency. That's fascinating. That would be a, worth a Google. And oh, don't forget to look up that totem animal for the bluebird too just to see if there's additional words or phrases or, or information messages, especially for you there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Fairy Grasshopper channel. Also, you can find me on Facebook at Bridget Inspired, on Instagram as well as Bridget Inspired. And check out my other work, my psychic and intuitive work where I channel at Above Life channel on YouTube.